It is the Holy Spirit who bestows and directs gifts, the jewels of the church, the bride of Christ, onto humanity. The Holy Spirit raises up prophets, instructs teachers, guides tongues, works wonders, heals, accomplishes miracles every day, grants the discernment of spirits, and harmonizes every charismatic gift. Powerful. So let's reflect on this. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. May all that we do be done in love. Remember, love God. God is love. All our gifts that God has given to us, all that grace, all that unmerited favor is to be used for the good of others and for the glory of God, for kingdom building. We're all in this together. Nobody wins until we all win. And we know the Great Commission, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me, to Jesus. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Right? The great commandment, loving God above all, loving each other as God has loved us. That's the path to salvation right here. And surely I am with you always to the very end of age. Jesus is here with us tonight. This is beautiful. And the commissioning of the 72, after the Lord appointed the 72 and others, he sent them out two by two. And he said, heal the sick and the kingdom of God has come near to you. That means we're in and building that beautiful kingdom of God. We're amongst it. We're amongst the kingdom of God. Isaiah 61, the spirit of the Lord is upon me, as foretold by the prophet Isaiah. Because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. This is like the Pentecost preview, right? What happened to the Virgin Mother Mary at the incarnation, when the Holy Spirit came upon her, and the power of the Most High overshadowed her, and therefore the Son to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God, Luke 1.35. And so this foreshadowed what happened to the entire church when the Holy Spirit was poured out on Pentecost. That Holy Spirit is supernatural power. The Lord's will is for His church to be clothed with this Pentecostal power, fully equipped with gifts from heaven that enable us to manifest God's love, presence, and power in the world.